another story time, so I have to whisper it's because my brother is sleeping in the other room and I don't know when to wake him up, so sorry. So, this is a story time on um, when I was drowned. So, yeah. So, this happened in like, let me look up my date. Um, back to 2015, and this kid that isn't in the same class as me, but in a separate same grade different class the different teacher and stuff pushed me off we had like this was on the last days of um like swimming lessons we had these little rafts with two pretty people per and this kid pushed me off i'm gonna call him like georgie the man or georgie man and just Georgie and Georgie pushed me off the raft and I had to swim to multiple rafts but they didn't even do anything they're like get off get off can't you see I'm drowning right here you're telling me to get off when this kid just pushed me off and I'm about to die. That was just what I said in my head. I was like, please let me on for a second. And they're like, no, get the fuck off. I was like, hold up. I'm about to die here. So, why are you not letting me on? And then, so, I go try and swim to other rafts they were kind enough though to just get me on for a few seconds but they were like can you get off please and i was like yeah yeah because they actually let me on they didn't mind and those people were the people that just saved me the lifeguard though like the teacher didn't even give two shits he literally saw me drowning and was like just didn't say anything and try to save me and oh my god I literally went up to him the lifeguard and said somebody just tried to kill me and he said I can do nothing about it yes you can you're the god teacher he just tried to drown me like you can only do something about it just died almost died sorry so like What the hell? And the rest of the day, like the rest of the year, this kid was just smiling at me. I'm going to more detail. You don't have to watch it right now. So this kid dropped my head, pushed me off. And that was like kind of the beginning. It was like the end of the day. The beginning of like lessons and literally pushed me off by my head nobody would let me on the raft we saw these like um, two people for like a few like seconds maybe a minute and i was i had to swim almost a whole pool like a really long one like a goddamn infinity pool but it was like fucking south of a soccer field <coughs> and i remember it still if I could go in the dark web, hire someone to jump in, I honestly would. Because he literally almost killed me. Like, I'm still traumatized. I still don't want to go into lessons. He knew what he did. And now that I know everything in the world, people are I can fucking beat the shit on my kid now I now jump off fucking 40 foot cliffs so I'm not scared of shit I've jumped off a pier that kid could barely jump off that shit on bet you but this kid literally tried to drown me my mom saw everything there's like a little window 
You can see everything. This was like a different one before it changed. And my mom saw everything. But what did the goddamn swimming teacher do? Absolutely dog shit. He didn't talk to him or anything. He was like, yo, I can't do anything. Yes, you can. This kid just tried to murder me. He literally just tried to drown me. Literally. He also pulled the raft away somehow. He, he tilted his like waist down to like the other side so I wouldn't be able to get on it. He was like taking the fucking whole raft. And he was literally laughing at me while I was fucking choking on water. And that's one of the most scary things in my life. And, literally, that was like the start of lessons. Knowing how cruel people are now, that people will literally drown you while, like, you are desperately needing help and nobody does this thing. That's literally messed up. Besides these two generous people. But, like, what was this? What have people turned into now? People that won't, goddamn, give people, like, the opportunity to live? Like... I don't get this. Like, uh, when I'm jumping off the pier, I've done like 40 jumps. I went for like five minutes. Cause I let other people on. The people with that wetsuit. Like, because I know they might not be able to swim and it's gonna be freezing cold for them. And I was like, bro, I have a wetsuit on. So I'm obviously gonna let these people on since I have warmth. They don't have anything any warmth or anything so I literally let them on first but this kid would probably do the opposite he'd probably shit on their faces if he had the chance and I'm not even lying he probably would jump me and he thinks he's so cool right now cause he has an online girlfriend which I don't know actually but I'm pretty sure he does but bitch I'm very fucking close getting an actual girlfriend pretty sure this girl likes me i'll be a part two one day i guess after this coronavirus thing is over i watch so many tiktoks that i'm just liking the video to get the cross ask you out or something and yeah but this kid tried to fight me oh my god i would snap his neck if this was a reddit how did you survive uh, attempted murder? But this would be on it. Like, who would literally put someone in such like close danger to dying for you to just almost drown? If I was 20, I'd sue their asses. Honestly, for almost, um, for, um, for oh, what was it called? Attempted murder. Because I literally was attempted murder. It's like me. It's like someone pushing me off a cliff. Like a little 80 foot cliff. But I knew how to swim. And I'm probably like a 120 foot cliff. Jesus Christ. Like, imagine just someone backstabs you. We were literally like, okay, friends, I guess. But this kid would just look at me every time from that day with a little ass smirk. Have we gone to a fight? In a pool? I'd give him some of his own madness and be like, why are you doing this to me, man? I didn't do anything. And be like, remember that time? You tried to kill me in water. Now, now, now here's your turn, bitch. Honestly, I honestly would do that because there was evidence. Like my mom thought the lifeguards did nothing about it. Though that's what I hate. Nobody would help me besides these two people. I think it was two girls. And like after a few seconds, they were like, "Can you get off, please?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." 
I swim all the way to the fucking end of the pool where you can get up. And I was like, who the fuck are these bastards? Not only really someone who's drowning up onto a fucking raft. Like, I'm about to die over here. This lifeguard doesn't give two shits about someone drowning. Like, oh my god. Well, thank you for watching an attempted murder. Story time. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Peace.